Okay, I was on the motherfucking YouTube. Whatever, everyone. You already know what's going on. It's Lexi for real. We back with another video. Today, I'm doing something a little different today. I'm gonna be doing a reaction video. I was asked by Kiana McKenzie to do a reaction video to her new film called Her. Um, it's a short film. It's about a lesbian going through lesbian problems, I assume. So, I'm excited. I'm gonna get right into this video. We gonna start now. A woman, aka Miss Madame Queen, she, her, a woman, royalty, strength, beauty, peace. Okay, spoken word. Selfless, depth, femininity, and elegance. A woman wants to be touched, nurtured, and craves the feeling of affection. Gay, straight, big or skinny, black, white or Hispanic, no matter who she is or what she looks like, she deserves to be loved. We long for intimate talks, kind acts, meaningful eye contact and deep attention from our mate. Hard on the outside, soft on the inside, loyalty, love, and respect is all a real woman appreciates and desires. A woman, full of love and strength, she's sexual, emotional, spiritual, and hero. Hero because she's the only creature on this earth that can give birth to another being. Hero because she can turn thorns into real battles. A woman craves special moments, kept secrets and strong chemistry. Her soft touch, sensitive voice, and passionate kiss is so seductive. A woman, beautiful, brave, adored, and addicting. What is life without a woman? When a woman is life. A woman is life. Come through, spoken word. I like that. I like that little beginning piece. We gonna see what the rest of the film talking about. But I heard, I heard that, that that hit right here. Woman is life. Woman deserves unconditional love. No matter what they look like, what they like, what they enjoy, doesn't matter. We all deserve unconditional love. So I appreciate that spoken word. Let's get it. I've been in my own bubble lately. Thinking about the L word. You ever thought you would never meet your soulmate? I didn't. But that's because I didn't even know what the word was. Now I do. Soulmate. It's a noun with action verbs behind it. Here's my definition of a soulmate. That person that you just can't imagine life without. That person that knows and loves every aspect of yours. When you're connected to them emotionally, mentally, and physically. When you spend every minute of every day thinking about them. When you do corny shit, like doodling their name in your notebook. When you can sit and vibe with them all day without getting tired of their presence. That's a soulmate. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm finish it. But soulmate, I do agree with everything that she just said as far as a soulmate, you know. But I feel like, can we have multiple soulmates? What y'all think about that? Like, it's somebody that you are connected to deeply, you know, you feel so strongly for all the corny stuff she just said. But, like, so if that's the case, how many soulmates do we have in a lifetime? Mm, let's see. 
And that's how I feel about Danny, except there's one problem. from my agent today um i just got booked to model new fall collection of pics oh that's what's up <laughs> uh, that's all you gonna say i mean what you want me to say you a model sasha you're supposed to be in books i ain't got time for this shit today damn sasha what now huh what do you want from me i want you to fucking love me then if I don't know, I'll be treated like this as your wife. I would have never married you. You don't love me. You don't make love to me anymore. You don't acknowledge me. You need to show me some motherfucking respect. You want to talk about respect? Cool. Let's talk about it. Was it respectable for you to do what you did to me last week? Hmm? Mind you, you black my eye. So don't go around here acting all innocent angel and shit. I know I'm not innocent, Danny. But I had to go through your phone to find out the truth. You still haven't told me who was Egypt. Danielle Renee Stewart, don't make me raise my motherfucking voice! Who the fuck is Egypt? Hold on, hold on. Black eye? I don't care what you did. I'm not standing in no relationship with a black with a black eye. I just can't do it. That that'd be the first time I exit out. Unless it's a mistake, but but you shouldn't even be going through phones anyway. Why be going through phones? Like why how y'all married and y'all going through a phone? Like you want to know the truth, Sasha? Of course I do. All right. Egypt is someone I care about. Wow. So now you care about the bitch? Danny, I gave you six years. Six years of marriage, six years of my life. And this is how you want to do me? I came out to my family for you. I even chose you over them, me out of all people, Danny. Six years? <laughs> I can't even say what I'm thinking because this is gonna be inappropriate. But six years, somebody let somebody let me give somebody to see if they they holler to somebody I care about. That'd be the day I go to jail, like Cuba Gooding with my hands behind my back. I don't care, like I'm be smiling and all of that. Like I know why I'm here, and I don't regret it. Cause somebody gotta die. Sasha, I didn't ask you to do all that. You damn sure didn't stop me, Danielle. I mean, come on, do you even love me anymore, Danny? Look, Sasha, neither one of us are happy anymore. We just still together to keep this lesbian, perfect ghost image shit, some shit that you wanted, right? Our marriage just slowly became a business arrangement. You mm -hmm. don't even got on your ring, so I don't even know why I'm talking to you about this. But I like you. I can accept that. You ain't got on your shit neither, okay? And unlike you, I'm willing to fight for our marriage. I'm willing to do anything to make this work. But you don't need me. You got Egypt for all that now, huh? Look, Daddy, I have a few shoes today to interview, so I won't be in till late tonight, all right? I don't even know why I'm explaining myself to you. Get off the motherfucking phone. Do you even care about what the fuck I going on? Do you care? Have a great day, Sasha. Fuck you, Danny. Put the 
feel too much hurt, I can't hurt no more Hurt people, hurt people, so I hurt you for When we could lay back, turn on Dirk until that shirt comes off Go to the temple like Dirk I got you scratching and skinning every breathing Girl, I can see that you can't take no more And so I don't be misleading, give you any reasons to fall Girl, and stay too Sorry, this was one real ass long ass sex scene. This reels, I don't know what, like the most realistic sex scene I've seen. Well done, well done. <laughs> Oh, this Egypt. Uh, yeah, I got something I want to talk to you about. What's up? What is this here? What are we doing? You know we're not getting back together. We just, we just trying. Chilling. Ugh. Chilling. I don't know about you, I can't just just chill with someone I dated for three years. Zane, we tried this already for three years and that shit was toxic. Hmm. Well, if it's so toxic, why are you still hitting me up? <laughs> Honestly, because you got some good dick. I'm about to be late for class, so you can let yourself out, right? Damn, I I can't even have a good day. Yo, that's fucked up, Egypt. You can't just keep treating people like this. Why do I still do this to myself? Mmm. She got Hulu and I have Netflix. What the hell? Hey, cheap. Skylar! Egypt! You scare me. What are you doing here? Bitch, I live here. What are you doing here? Betty, how did you even get in here? You know I never gave you back your spare key. I mean, what are you doing here so early? My class ended early, so I decided to come home. Who, who's that? That Mia girl I was telling you about. Oh, the one from her school? Yes. She's so annoying. We hooked up a few times and now she won't stop blowing me up. And that's another reason why I came home. I saw her in the library. I swear you act like a nigga sometimes. <laughs> How? She knew what it was from the beginning. I just don't get it. She's a criminal justice major, which means she's mad smart and she can get your ass out of trouble. She always makes sure you're straight and she's pretty. Now why don't you want to be with her? I'm just... Not interested in her. Why? Because of Danny? Egypt, are you really okay with being someone's mistress? Danny loves me. And I love her even more. She just needs good time to break it off of her life. She doesn't even love her anymore. Like I said, she loves me. Yeah, okay. Just like Zane loves you? Here we go. It's the truth, E. That boy moved all the way from New York to be with you so you can follow your dreams. Y'all were together for three years and now you want to throw him away like old garbage? And another thing. If you really love Danny like you say you do, you still wouldn't be messing with Zane and Mia. Did you and Danny agree on a, an open relationship or something? She's married and you have two side pieces. Look, this, this is so confusing. 
Yo, I swear, this be me when I hear my friends talk. Like, I don't understand you want to be with somebody that's in a relationship. Like, you in love with somebody that's in a relationship. Like, you really think that's going to work? Like, what do you see in the long run? Like, how do you see this really playing out for yourself? Like, you think they're going to leave their wife and then just happily be in love with you and then never go back to the wife? Like, you just think it's not going to be a triangle? I don't understand that. Then you got somebody that's single, want to be with you, good for you, and then you don't want to take that? I don't get it. Girls confuse me. Girls are confusing. Continue. I don't have time to discuss my personal life with you. I have finals to study for, so you could. Wow. Are you kicking me out? Tell mom I love her. You don't have no food anyway. Fruit snacks? Really? Fruit snacks? In my bed? I'll be back tomorrow. Baby. I wish we could do this all the time. Well, you know what you need to do to make that happen. I know it. Just give me some more time. Well, I see you're not wearing your ring anymore, so... What does that mean? You're divorcing her, right? Asia, baby, it's not that simple. I told you, just give me some more time. Divorces aren't that easy. I promise, we'll be together full time before you know. Full time? This is how you, this is who you want. Somebody that say we'll be together full time. Like you're a job, a side job, part time job. Dang. I just, just don't understand what you need more time for, Danielle. You swear you don't love her anymore. Y'all stay having physical and verbal fights. You're not happy with her, Danielle, so what's the problem? Asia, can we please stop talking about Sasha? Come here. I just want to continue to enjoy our night together. I love you, okay? You hear me? Okay. Come here. If you don't love her no more, shoot her. Samples.
to Egypt. You know, I have class at two, so I can't stay long. So what's up, Egypt? What do you mean? What's up with you? Like, I haven't talked to you. I know you've been busy with finals, but what's new? What's going on? I'm good, Mia. I've just been focused, you know? Okay, I feel you. So did you hear back about the internship? Not yet. I've been praying I get it. A summer internship in Africa? That'll be dope. Yeah, definitely. You got this. I believe in you. Thanks, me. So look, Egypt, I'm, I'm feeling you a lot. You're the only person that I think about, the only person I could vibe with like this. Damn, Mia. I told you from the beginning not to catch feelings. Why is that? Hey, yo, she a dog, yo. I, ooh, I'm getting triggered. I can't, yo, I can't, I can ever, I cannot ever mess with no female like this, ever. Why don't you want to be with me? I'm just not looking for a relationship right now. Is this someone else? Yo, you're bugging right now. No, you're bugging. You think that I'm a game you can just play with me when, when you want to? So I'm good enough to fuck, but I'm not good enough for a relationship? <laughs> You're doing too much. Now I'm doing too much. You know, fuck this. Like, you don't have to worry about me hitting you up anymore, okay? I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, fuck you, man. Like, I'm not doing this shit. You never walk out. You whip her ass first. Then you walk out. No, let me finish. I couldn't answer that at the moment. I even thought about it on my drive home last night. But when I got here and saw you wasn't here once again, I instantly knew that answer, Danny. Yes, I am sad. Insecure, and I'm losing myself. And it's all because of you. You made me like this, Danny. Sasha, I never wanted things to be this way. You were my best friend for eight years. And my wife for six. Come on now. Exactly. Eight years together? In six years of marriage? That don't tell you how much of a ride or die I am? I'll never cheat on you, ever. I want this marriage to work. I wanted to fight for this. Unlike you, I'm committed. Eight years? And first of all, I thought it was six, but eight years all together? And that's the thing with women, though. Like, they think just because they don't cheat, like... That means something. Like, she seemed irky. Like, she do seem... I'm a little irritated from her. But I get it. Like, eight years, like, you know... I hate a motherfucker that's so quick to give up. Like, let's work on it. Let's continue to work on it. Like, why we start all of this for no reason? Like, let's continue. But, you know, even though cheating is not everything. Like, just because you ain't cheat don't mean you ain't got other stuff wrong with you. So, I feel both sides. Better to my vows. Do you even know what today is? Shit.
Typical birthday plans, but I just wanted to do something low key and intimate for you. Mm-hmm. Danny, this is this is perfect. This is so beautiful. Thank you, babe. Good evening, ladies. My name is Isaac, and I'll be your chef for the evening. The little birdie tells me that it's your birthday. We'll have some wine for you right now, and we'll have your food coming out shortly. Okay? Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, baby, you got a chef? No, I try. So, I've been thinking a lot about what you said, and I'm sorry for everything. You hear me? For all the cheating, the lies, and most of all, the disrespect. I appreciate you being down for me, even though I did a lot of fucked up shit to you. I just want to work on us. I definitely don't want to lose you. I love you, Sasha Stewart. My fucking time you woke up. No, but for real, babe, this is it's beautiful. I love you. Thank you. I love you too. Happy birthday, baby. Thank you. It's 11 o'clock. Yo, Danny, what's up? It's 11 o'clock. You were supposed to be here at 8. If there's something wrong, you need to let me know. Don't have me waiting up. I love you. Call me back. I haven't did this shit in forever. <laughs> what? Daddy, I know you ain't sweet. Baby, stop playing. Danny. Damn. I guess some things don't ever change. Still put that ass to sleep. Hey. <laughs> Smack that boy. Girlfriend need to stop going through that phone though. Just leave her. Go back and forth with your ass. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm done going back. 
back and forth with your ass. me a minute to figure out who was that at the door but whoa you pulled up to the house and the girlfriend not even there the other girl not even there y'all did it behind her back wow wowzer she not mad enough for me i'm sorry i gotta keep pausing this she's not mad enough for me like you gonna let me in like what is up with this classy act she trying to do man go off Sharing your location on Danny's phone. Look, I'm gonna just make this real quick and get straight to it. What's going on with you and my wife? No disrespect, but don't you think that's a question you should no, ask? No, no, no. Huh? See, you're not doing it. I'm asking you. Egypt, she's been seeing you for months. Probably even longer than that. I see your name on her phone. I always see your name on her Instagram likes. Just be real and tell me what's going on. Do you love Danny? I do. Very much. Did she just ever say she was gonna leave for you? Yes. I knew it. Divorce her. But anymore, I just can't. But thank you. Yo, brung of the papers and said, This is your problem now. She's your problem. Period. Like, class. Okay, I appreciate the classiness now. We ain't had to do all of that. Just give her the papers. Period. When you do things nice and neat, that's when they really hurt them. When you don't act all crazy, that's what gets to, you know, that don't get to them. But when you do things just classy and nice, that's what really. Hurt, fuck them up in the inside. For the verification. Cause you won. The you won at the end? Sorry, I'm getting excited. Hold on. By the way, she was with me tonight. She said she wanted to work on us. Oh, and another thing. She was surprised me for my birthday. I guess that's why she probably stood you up. So now we both got played. And you know, woman and woman, I'm not even mad at you. I hope you like seconds, though. Have a good life, my little those years. 
That's not even realistic. You should I would have beat her ass after she said that. My leftovers. And you at my house? I'll show you leftovers. Get me out the house. I've been looking around for two days now. Aw, oh, sissy. I'm so sorry this happened to you. I don't like you like this. Thank you for always being there for me. Of course, you know I got you. I just hate my life. Listen, E. Hmm? I know she says she loves you, but at the end of the day, her loyalty wants to Sasha and she'll always know where home is. And another thing, this may sound harsh, but it's real. Honestly, this is karma, E. Excuse me? Oh, I hate a motherfucker that do that. When you're down, honestly, this is karma. This might be your karma. Fuck y'all. Girl, look how you did me. That girl was feeling you. Look how you did Zane. That boy loves you and you literally treat him like a one night stand. I told you, you can't just go playing with people's feelings like that. You see that shit came back around to bitch you in the ass. It's like, yes, she deserve it. And yes, it's probably karma. But we don't want to hear that right now. Like, that's not what I want to hear. That's not, don't even bring up the K word. <laughs> I hate when you're right. I know, I know we grew up and it was fucked up. We grew up in a fucked up system and our parents didn't want us, but everything worked out. At the end of the day, we had amazing foster parents and they taught us the right way to love. Remember that. I know, I know. And I appreciate what you're saying and your honesty. I just, I feel like my life is a mess right now. What do you mean? <coughs> The shit with Danny. School is stressing me out. And I really don't think I'm gonna get that summer internship in Africa. I told you you need to go see Iris. Bitch, you want me to go see a psychic? A Jamaican psychic at that? What? Your life is all over the place and you could really use some help. Plus, I heard she's the best in Atlanta. Go in and call me when you get done. Bye. Motherfuckers like sidekick shows, especially the ones in Atlanta. I'm dead. Okay. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for Iris. Iris, come on, come on. Let me do it again. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, about a dollar. <laughs> My life bigger than your little nigga, excuse me, pardon me. Got this pistol in the club like it's a part of me. I'm sorry, motherfuckers start doing that, a sidekick at that, I'm running. I'm, I'm running back out the door. This for real, let's see how your heart gon' be. Uh, yeah. Stepping on they toes, I'm standing on their feet. Uh, yeah. These little niggas ain't cut like me, ain't built like me. Uh, you know I'm riding, ain't no how you ain't got a question me. Uh, real active in these streets, ain't look for sympathy. Christian music. I'm Iris, and this is my assistant Molly. Hey, what's happening, girl? How you doing? Did you have an appointment? No, my sister Skylar recommended me. I know Skylar. Skylar owes me till I said that. Okay. So how do you may I help you? <laughs> See, tarot cards, a reading, or to buy some good ganja. The new stuff came in. Mm. That loud pack, right, Molly? Give me your hand. Well, like I said, my sister recommended me, so excuse me if I'm a little off guard, but I'm here now, so. I had been dating a married woman. Did you know she was married? <laughs> I did. Oh, you're an entanglement. Me too, child. Keep going, such a whore. <laughs> oh, anyway. Yo, this shit got me weak, such a whore. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as hell, yo. I'll be dead. She promised me she was gonna leave her wife. That didn't happen. I actually just found out that she wants to work things out with her wife. 
Of course. She sounds like a liar and indecisive. Must be a Libra. She is, actually. That's crazy you knew that. Mm-hmm. Anyway, of course, that hurt me a lot. But I was talking to my sister, and I realized that it was just karma. For the past several months, I had been hitting up this random girl on my campus and still sleeping with my ex occasionally when I was bored. Damn, girl, you get around, huh? What messy thing. No, I you. wouldn't put it like that. I would. I only hit them up when Danny, the girl I'm in love with, mm. was with her wife. Hmm, interesting. Egypt, have you ever heard the saying, hurt people hurt people? I have. That's what you're doing. Uh, Molly, go give me my crystal bottle. Bruh, please stop with that fake ass Jamaican accent. Knowing you from the south side. Right. She from the south right. side, Charlie. Right. Right. She didn't go give my motherfucking crystal bottle. My bottle. <laughs> She hey yo, she like the best character in this motherfucker. This shit got me weak as hell. I'm like, going on a three day cruise to Jamaica and come back. One hundred days Jamaica. Talking about some war going on. It was four days, nigga. Three, the four. You're not Group on. South South. I am. Riverdale. Gang. Okay. Okay, so boom. Let's get into it. I mean, boom, boom. Okay, boom. Like, wow, well, you know, Jamaican flat. Okay, so what I see in your future? Hmm. I see a big blessing coming your way. I see new people, new beginnings, new places for you. I suggest you let the past go. Can you elaborate more? I'm kind of confused. <laughs> it's six o'clock. I mean, I have a date tonight. You owe me eighty five ninety nine. I want no more. I told you I have a date tonight. You owe me eighty five ninety nine. Next time, make an appointment. Uh, yeah, uh, Egypt, Africa, hey, uh, please pay her before she pull out the strap, cause she will. Oh, God. I got it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, I guess. You guess. We can't believe you sound ungrateful, child. When you receive that big blessing, remember Iris told ya. Now get out of here so I can smoke my good ganja. Ugh, ungrateful Americans. Hit that shit, Marley. Hey. Bought two pencils in a couple pound with this is down. <laughs> It wasn't nothing for a nigga, extra for the house uh, Treat that money like clothes, baby, we gon' keep it pound uh, Push up to his game, punch the punch him in his mouth uh, Steady screaming that I'm high, but I'm steady out uh, your partner, don't say he say he knew too much I'm sorry. Goodbye, Danny. I'll be back there in the rest of my Sasha, I love you. I guess that crazy Jamaican psychic was right. A blessing did come, so shout out to Iris. My life has completely changed. I got my dream internship out of the country. 
as far as my romantic life, I'm completely single and 100% off the market. I just want to focus on myself and becoming a better person. I realize that I hurt a lot of people and that wasn't my intention at all. Before I moved, I texted Mia and I apologized for leaving her on. I hit up Zane and I apologized for hurting him. And finally, I answered Danny's call and thanked her for helping me find myself. I'm not gonna lie, Danny did hurt me, but how can I even blame her when I was hurting people in the process of trying to love her? It's funny how love works sometimes, but that is another topic for another story. While I'm out of the country, my little sister Skylar is gonna be house sitting for me, holding it down. I know she's gonna eat up my entire house. <laughs> And also, I want to go on a spiritual journey just to figure out more about me. Overall, I'm so proud of the woman that I'm becoming, Egypt Kelly. She's me and I am her. And I'm completely unavailable because Egypt is going to Africa. <laughs> I never would have thought that we'd be here. It's like a trance I, I finally got my chance I'm no longer depressed And my happiness respects someone me. Well motherfucking done Well done I like this movie This was actually a good film Very um Very relatable I should say I like this ending just now It's funny cause I seen this tweet and it was like, girls go through breakups and they become like uh, spiritual pastors. And that shit is hilarious. Because that's kind of what they remind me of. You go, you go through a breakup and you get hurt and you be like, I just want to find myself. Like, you know, what's for me is for me. God got things in plan. I'm not going to rush anything. Like, you just become on this whole different mindset. You get spiritual. You start worried about yourself. You start exercising, working out. Like, you just become your own best friend and that shit is hilarious. Even though it's a good thing, it's just funny that we all go through that process at some point of our lives. But, very relatable film. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the actors. I think the actors did a well job. It didn't feel, like, too fake at all. It felt, like, very real and realistic. Um, I think Egypt did a wonderful job. Shout out to her. Um, everybody did, nah, the whole cast did amazing to me, actually. Um, the sidekick was hilarious and what else uh, i'm trying to think what else happened in the film yeah i mean again just very relatable we all go through this we all see this we all always find ourselves in different situations whether it's falling in love with somebody who's in a relationship or hurting somebody or just using somebody you know not you're not consciously using them but just using somebody to get over somebody else and just talking to somebody because we bored in the second and the third like it's not right it's toxic but it happens it's life the best of us get it we all go through it and i just think you know it's something that you know builds us and we grow from it we learn from it it's mistakes we all make mistakes and everything's everything that happens in life are lessons use everything as a, a teachable situation but yeah very good film very good film very good film i loved it shout out to kiana mckenzie um I think she has her own YouTube channel, so I'm going to drop that below. Um, if y'all like the film, comment below. Say what you liked about it. You can. Uh, I'll also drop the link to her to the film as well. i also drop the link to the film as well, so y'all can go watch it without you know my reaction and react for yourself. Rewatch it if y'all want to do that. And yeah, everyone, we're going to be back with another video. I actually like these reaction things. Send me more reactions, y'all. Send me more videos y'all want me to react to. This is kind of fun. I fuck with it. So... We are ones. Cause I want a okay with the top back so these bitches can see what they miss.